Well, now to an update tonight from a story we brought you at six. The stolen bobcat that damaged a woman's property on Detroit's east side has been found. Jacqueline Francis was there as the construction company recovered their equipment somewhere you probably wouldn't expect. This is not how the day was supposed to go. Monaco landscape crews arriving to their work site on Detroit's east side only to find a key piece of equipment missing. And I see our brand new machine is gone, so I'm like, I have this pit in my stomach. I'm like, no way, only me, us, that it could happen. A nearby homeowner spotted the missing machine on surveillance camera damaging her property, her fence taking the brunt of it. It was clear the equipment had been stolen. The homeowner, Valencia Daniel, called us about it, and we aired the story at 6. Someone watching the story realized they'd seen that stolen bobcat somewhere it shouldn't be. Neighbor came to my house and told me that she knew where it was, and I was really appreciated. You know, and she and she came and told me get in the car and drove me down here and took me and showed me where it was. Then Valencia showed us where it was, taking us down a mosquito-filled alleyway a few miles from the construction site. There was the bobcat ditched in the bushes. Valencia called the owners, who were quick to respond. If you're telling me you want me to go get it, I'll go get it right now because I love that machine, Toro Dingo, great thing. How it was stolen remains a mystery. The machine, worth about $60,000, had a lockbox that appeared untouched. The company just happy to have it back. Get this machine back, hopefully nothing too uh, wrong is with it, and we can use it tomorrow and get this project going. As for the homeowner, Valencia, her gate is still damaged. She did report it to police, but it's unclear if any leads will come of this. Reporting live in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Okay, Jacqueline, thank you.